guys, it's Andrea. I'm back for another Sew With Me from the Farm Girl Vintage 2 Quilt by Lori Holt. I'm making it just about as pictured on the front. Changing some colors up, but not many. I'm using the Farm Girl Vintage, mostly the Farm Girl Vintage fabric line. Today we're going to be making Milk Cow. And thank goodness this is going to be in the 12 inch. <laughs> she gives instructions for the six and a half or the 12 and a half. I'm just doing as she did on the front. So we're doing the 12 inch, which should be much easier than the little guy. Cause this had a lot of pieces. This had A through W different cuts. Let's get it started in here. Okay, first up. All right. We're making one. All right, we're going to be making two R blocks, but um, each one's a little bit different, so. Mixing it up. First, guess what? We're snowballing H. Just one H, so I'll put the others back. And this H is going to go in this left bottom corner of the R block. On the other R block, we're going to snowball in, which is this other color of brown. This is the cow's ears, horns, and hooves. This is the cow body fabric. This line, I actually had to pull, I'm out of dark brown in the farm girl. So I pulled this from another Lori Holt line. What line is this? I'm not even sure. Flea market maybe, or I can't remember. It's the first time I've delved into that fat, that fat quarter bundle though. I have it folded right here. If y'all know which one this is, let me know. This is one of her Good grief. Pulled this out by mistake. Found, there's no salvage on any of these, so I can't see what line it is. Oh, here's some. Here's some. What's this? Oh, stitch! This is her stitch line. It blends perfectly with all her other lines. Most of her lines do. I've got several of hers that I've never even opened yet. They're still all wrapped up. They're just too pretty to use. Okay, this first R block, we're gonna snowball again on the top corners with I. And we'll be doing that in top corners with I too. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull four I blocks out. Imagine these tiny blocks on the six incher. Probably three fourths of an inch. Yep. Again, with this other R block, top corners snowballed with I.
There's probably going to be a lot of snowballs in this block, I'm predicting. Anytime she has pitcher blocks, there's a lot of snowballs. gonna set this to the side for now. Next we're going to the P block, which I think is his little old face. And we're snowballing top two corners with I again. I might as well leave these unclipped. I'll skip ahead until we can get that out from underneath the needle. And we're going to go to you block. Put this block to the side. You. This is either the nose or the udder because that's the two things this pink's for. Q block. It's a brown one. That is a brown one. Where is it? Where the heck? Where the heck is it? Oh, it was turned upside down on the tray. Four? I only have two. Did I not cut these right? Q. Yeah, she only told us to make two of them. I think I've just... I think I've discovered a mistake, unless... No, the top two corners are Q. Um, the bottom two corners are O. That's why. You know, it was hard to tell the difference on the drawing. Okay. Top is Q. This has to be the face, the nose, because it's got the two cut, two browns on it. Now the other top of this one, with the background. This is another that she's got embellishments on. She has two buttons for the nostrils, um, embroidery for the eyes, and embroidery for his tail. I won't add the buttons until after it's quilted. If you're getting it machine quilted, don't add buttons before you send it to the quilters or they'll just have to take them off. But I will embroider them before they go to the quilters. When you get it back from the quilter, that's when you add your buttons. Unless you're hand quilting. Then you do what you want. Do what you want. Buttons would be super cute. I've not put buttons on any of my quilts yet. Um, if no Lori's, some of Lori's blocks call for it. Wouldn't that be uncomfortable 
<laughs> I mean, if you're laying, you happen to lay on top of the quilt for any reason. What the heck? Why'd y'all let me do that? Oh my gosh, you were probably screaming at the screen. I accidentally sewed a snowball on the bottom of my brown block. Because I won't stop yammering. I can get it off. I can get it off. I usually just depict this kind because ripping, to, it's hard for me if it's in the middle of a piece versus the edge. I'm using little bitty old stitches too so that I, my blocks don't come unraveled, which is a pain when you're trying to pick it. Pick it, pick it. Okay, this piece is done. I'm setting it to the side so I don't get confused again. I'm gonna go ahead and pin that. Right. Nope, I need it immediately. Okay, K block. Snowball and I in the bottom left corner. Luckily I, hadn't, luckily, I hadn't trimmed it yet on that other blocker. I'd be cussing right about now. I think this little... I think this box done, just one snowball for it. Okay, now we're going to do this guy and this guy. These are the ears. We're gonna attach left ear to B and right ear to L. We're going to attach the nose piece. <laughs> Make sure you have it rotated correctly. The light brown snowballs on the top and the slightly darker brown. Slightly darker brown on the bottom. Okay, 
Okay, next we're gonna put tea. We're making two of these tea blocks with the snowball eye on opposite corners though. So the left one on the left side and the right one on the right side. piece out and we'll attach this block to it on the bottom Oh, it's just the one piece on there. I'm sitting there trying to cut the back. I knew there was pieces back there. I was like, wait a minute. There is pieces back there. Trim off. And iron. I bet these are his horns. But those two little guys are his horns. Yep. So they're gonna be attached with H in the middle. Just one H. Obviously I didn't cut something right. What the heck? Oh, I've got my horns. I've got my horns wrong. There we go. Scared you didn't know. Scared you didn't know. So when y'all are reading patterns, do you just look at the pictures like I do? Or do you actually read them like you're supposed to? I'm bad about just looking at the pictures and going. And that has tripped me up before, but usually it works well. Okay, we got our nose piece, so we can start patching the ears. What? What? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys. Can you believe I did that? I've got that snowball at the wrong corner. It's supposed to be up here. I may have to start cursing, so close your ears. Can you believe that crap? Can you believe what God did to us, man? What the heck? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to redo this whole block because I cut off that corner. That, uh, that was a movie quote, by the way, if you don't know about, did you say what God did to us, man? Just quoting a movie, I'm just kidding. Okay. So frustrating. 
Oh my gosh, I really don't want to do this whole thing over. I think I'm going to do a fake it till you make it fix here. Instead of redoing this whole block, I'm just going to snowball the same brown color on this corner. Watch a genius at work. <laughs> Watch a genius at work. It's all patchy anyway. No one will be none the wiser. Except you guys. Alright, let me get a one inch. I am going to have to cut another one inch snowball piece. Let me sew this on real quick. Get it out of the way. Why are you so much shorter? What? What is happening? That should not be that much shorter. Oh, I'm getting so frustrated with this. How big is B supposed to be? Let me check my cuts. Perfect. So why the heck is it so short? My cut is right on and so is my seam. I'm guessing there's going to be trimming somewhere. surgery to fix this. Okay, need a one inch block, block, block. And a one inch. Let me make sure that's supposed to be a one inch though. What was that? Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely. Okay. You know what I'm thinking. You still. You going to take a bath? Yeah. Good girl. Didn't even have to tell you. Let's do the other side of the horn while we're waiting. Fingers crossed. This works.
and some pretty handy magic. Oh, dang it! I just pulled some thread out of that seam. kind of tore halfway down so that's why I restitched it. Okay, no harm, no foul on this block. I fixed it. Catastrophe averted. So now now we can sew these two. each side of these horns we're gonna sew G block sounds like a rapper's name doesn't it G block Now we can sew the ear back on. Now see, this one's lining up like almost perfectly. I don't know why the other one's off. Oh, okay, this one's a little bit off, off too, but this one's a little off too. I'm sure we're probably gonna have to trim this block. Jack the Ripper up again. Hopefully, we're done with him for the night. Excuse me. Excuse me for a minute. Yeah. Actually, uh, it's measuring up right. This is measuring up a little short. I'll fix that. I'll have to use a little trickery magic again. A little tomfoolery on that one. All right, let's carry on. Next, we're gonna take J. Ooh! Drop the alphabet. We're gonna snowball I on these two corners and we're done with I after that. Then we can put our horns on. 
the, the girl cows have horns? I'm showing my ignorance about the cow world right now. But I guess they do. Snowball on the bottom right. This cow is looking stinking cute. You could stop right there and it'd be stinking cute. But wait, there's more. V. This is her udder. Snowball H. In the bottom corner. Y'all, I'm sitting in here sewing on a Tuesday like a wild and crazy woman. Just can't get enough. Just can't get enough. I get obsessive about things sometimes. If you haven't, if you haven't noticed with my over the top number of unboxings that, that I'm just like, why can't I just can't go in a little? I've always been that way. I just cannot do a little. I always have to go crazy with stuff. Oh, I was gonna say that's not the right size. First we're gonna put F block here. Take this little old udder. We're gonna attach E to it. I just can't tell you how much joy this brings me. It literally brings me so much joy, and I hope you guys have something in your life that you do for yourself. If not daily, hopefully daily, but if not daily weekly that brings you joy. It's so important to have interests and hobbies of, you know, your own and things you truly enjoy doing. Ask yourself every day, what have I done today that has brought me some joy? We're going to attach M and S, two of these. This is um, her little legs and her hooves we're doing now. She's 
got some short little old legs. Magic legs. Not like the horse. The horse's legs are so long. calm down on how many unboxings I do though. There for a long time I was posting six a day if you're new here. Then I went down to four a day and now I'm down to about three a day. I like to keep it I like to do about four a day but right now I've just got three a day. I don't know how people restrain themselves just once a day. Like most people on YouTube do once a day and which is probably wise and smart, but I cannot do that. I cannot restrict myself that much. I would be going crazy. Well, let's take this little leg and attach D to it. leg we're also we're gonna attach a to it He's going to attach A to him, too. Or her. I love me some milk. I was talking about one of the recent cook with me's. I asked y'all to guess how many gallons of milk that I buy a week. And a lot of y'all got it right. And it was four gallons. Yes. Four gallons of milk a week. We can say that. Mostly me and Sam. Stella usually only drinks a glass of milk if she's making an iced coffee. Then she'll pour a big glass of milk and put a little bit of coffee concentrate into it. That's about the only time she does it. But Sam and I drink milk on the daily. I love it. Whole milk. Whole milk. Definitely. That's this. Attached to that. All right, I need that before I can proceed. Um, oh, I think I can attach his butt on the cow's butt. better. Yeah, I'm gonna have 
to start using some leaders and enders at this point. We're at the finish line. I think Stella's singing in there. Can barely hear her. She don't walk around singing all the time like I do usually. That's why I'm like, what? There's his body, or her body. Looks right. Attach the other leg. quilt on the side if you're new here I always do these as I'm sewing amazing when I look at the time on the timer and it's been like 42 minutes and it seems like it's been 10. I'm gonna put the grass on. my grass a little bit long, doing it. That's all right. I can trim it. That's hanging out though. You can tell it's near the end because I start sewing really fast. I just get so excited. I know, 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 That's enough, I'm gonna make it happen. I knew when I was cutting that grass that it was probably going to be a little, little long. That's why I'm not stressing about it. Okay, now we have her legs. We'll attach them to her body. Ooh, that lined up really nicely.
cut. Do the big reveal. She's so cute. Man, that turned out good, didn't it? So, okay, you're gonna do your embroidery eyes. You're gonna do your button nostrils. And here, she's got just like a, a stitch down with the three prong fork on it. Usually what I'll do is I'll take my friction pen. She actually has drawings that you could trace onto your Oh, she's got it coming out here out this little butt. Out his little butt, her little butt. And like a hoop. This friction pin never wants to ride on fabric. That's what I got you for, dude. That's what you what are you, what good are you? Almost all the way to the end, and then it's got this fork. Not fork, but three prong. Hair's coming down. Friction pan goes away with friction or heat. And then she's got his little, her little eyes, like right here. I draw this on so I know where to embroidery after. And then her. Her nose will have buttons there. If you want to do buttons, you could do embroidery nostrils or whatever you want. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. I'll see you at the next one.